All right, this question is asking us about whether or not these molecules are chiral. So in order to be a chiral molecule, you have to have a chiral center. So in order to have a chiral center, you have to be a carbon that has four different groups attached to it. So it is kind of telling us, look, let's look here, let's look there, let's look there, let's look there. All the other stuff is not going to be chiral centers. So we're, we've got you narrowed down this focus on this one aspect of it. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. Is this carbon got four different groups? Look right here. Obviously not. Those are both uh, those are both carboxylic acid groups, and so they're not going to be chiral because the same group attached to that carbon. All right. What about this next carbon? I've got one, two. Those groups are definitely different. Here's a methyl group. That's three. That's different. Look, and I've got a benzene ring. That's certainly different. So here is a chiral center for sure. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. We've got an, we've got a carboxylic acid group, we've got an amine group, we've got a methyl group, and we've got an isopropyl group. Those are all three different. This guy is chiral as well. Okay, so now we have a carbon that's attached to a three-membered ring. And so in order for a carbon in a ring to be chiral, it has to be different around the ring. So the, the direction you go around the ring has to be different if you, uh, from the other direction around the ring. So clearly these two groups are different. So we got one, two different groups so far. And now what we wanna do is we wanna think, is this different this direction than it is this direction? And it turns out it's not, right? So we go from here, we go around the ring, we get to a CH2, keep going around the ring, we get to a CH2, and now we're back home. We do it the other direction, we go to CH2, CH2, and then we're back home. So it's not chiral. So only these two are chiral, okay.